Hello everyone. My name is Jay Shah, and I have developed Musify, which is a music composer where a user can easily compose, download, as well as share beats with other users. The reason why I chose this project is because it would be quite exciting and at the same time challenging, as it involves music, which is quite an unexplored domain in the web industry. The tech stack we have used for Musify is for front-end, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap framework, jQuery and handlebars as our templating engine is used. For backend, Node.js and Express framework and MongoDB is used as our database. Now, I will quickly, quickly walk you through the Musify web app. For any new user, he has to first register on our site. As I've already registered, I'll quickly log in. Upon login, the user is directed to his dashboard page where he can view his created beats. He can also play the beats from here as well as download it. When a user wants to create a beat, he has to go to the composer page. We'll create a beat here. The tempo is for increasing and decreasing the velocity of a beat. In this grid, each cell corresponds to, corresponds to a sound and each row corresponds to one particular sound. In order to increase the velocity of a beat, we can easily increase decrease the speed by using the slider. This keeps looping endlessly and if you want to pause stop, you can easily do that with the help of these buttons. If a user wants to add this, let's name it as hold on. And this private and public toggle button is for, let's say a user wants to just keep the beat to himself. He can mark it as private and if he wants to keep it as public and share it with other logged in users he can set it to public we'll keep it for we'll keep it public for now and save it now you can see the speed has been created you can also check it on your dashboard page and this explore symbol button is where you can view all the users who have marked the beats as public. We can see that hold on, J21 play. We'll quickly go onto the composer page and edit the speed, hold on. We can also download the beat from here. Let's update the beat. We can also change the title, but we'll keep it the same. And we'll set this this time to private. Save. We can see on the dashboard page, when we go and explore, it has been set to private and we cannot see the beat anymore. We can also delete this beat. And it has been removed. We can also check it in the dashboard page.
if a user wants to change this profile details, he can easily do so. We'll keep this as. And it has been done. Now, we we'll log out of this web app and we could further improve the Musify web app by improving the UI and refactoring the code to optimize it for speed and performance. We would also like to add more features as well as create a mobile version for this app. Thank you.